pastry dough is used in both savory and dessert recipes. Pastry dough is often called 3-2-1 dough, referring to the three parts flour, two parts fat, and one part water. The apple cobbler recipe is a rich dessert that uses this dough and adds a half a cup of fruit to the serving of dessert. Gather the mise en place and wash and sanitize all surfaces. Except for the ice cold water, have all ingredients at room temperature. The goal is to create a dough that achieves a light consistency, is not tough, and has an even, golden color. The first step is to combine the flour and the fat. You can either do this by hand, with a pastry knife, with a food processor, or by using a mixer with a paddle attachment. This recipe uses shortening as the fat and salt along with the flour. Once these ingredients are incorporated, it should resemble small peas. Add cold water to the flour fat mixture all at once and mix to ensure that all the dough is evenly moistened. Turn the dough out and shape it into a flat disc. At this point, wrap the dough in plastic wrap and place it into the refrigerator for several hours. Chilling the dough will help allow it to relax. The fats will firm up and the starches will absorb the liquid. These are important changes and are necessary to improve the characteristics of the dough. The recipe will determine when you need to roll out your dough. To roll out the dough, first lightly dust your work surface with flour, then lightly dust the surface of the dough. With the roller also lightly dusted, roll out the dough gradually. It's recommended to turn the dough 90 degrees every few passes to help in rolling a consistent shape and thickness. If you are making a pie crust, make the circle slightly larger than your pan. While the dough is resting, make the filling for the apple cobbler recipe. Water and apple juice are combined. Make a slurry of cornstarch and add one quarter of the liquid. Bring the rest of the liquid to a boil. Add half the sugar and gradually add the slurry. Continue to cook, stirring constantly until the liquid thickens. Remove from the heat and blend the remaining sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg into the mixture. Add the apples and stir lightly to avoid breaking up the fruit. Pour this mixture into two steam table pans. At this point, the recipe directs you to roll out the dough into two rectangles, about 20 by 12 inches. Cover the apple mixture with the pastry dough. Trim any excess dough from the corners of the pan. Brush with a pastry brush dipped in water. Lightly score the top of the dough to identify serving portions. Bake the cobbler until the pastry is brown and the filling is bubbling. Once cooked, use the scores made in the dough to help cut into portions for service. Serve immediately.